Hi everybody. Um, I thought we would do the St. Joseph the Worker Novena uh, because it's the year of St. Joseph and uh, so the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker is coming up on May the 1st. Um, so we're going to do our St. Joseph the Worker Novena. We're going to begin today. Um, so I'm going to read the reflection and I'm going to sing a song. On May 1st, communist regimes used to parade their weapons of destruction through the streets of major cities, held captive under Marxist oppression. They called the day May Day an International Workers' Day, and some still do. The Marxists proclaimed that a workers' paradise could be achieved through a counterfeit ideology which promised that a new man and a new society would come about without the need of a savior. It was during that period that the Catholic Church emphasized the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker. One of its goals was to expose false ideologies and proclaim that the dignity of all human work is rooted in the dignity of the worker who is created in the image of God. And now we will begin our Novena Prayer. Beloved Father, through the life, death, and resurrection of your only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ, we have come, become your adopted sons and daughters. Through baptism, we are now members of his body, the church. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, taught us that whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and my sister and my mother. We thank you for that promise that it includes each and every one of us. As members of the family of Jesus, we turn to you in prayer. In Jesus, we are joined in a communion of love, which is stronger than death along with the saints, the holy ones. They are the great cloud of witnesses that the Bible speaks of. They have gone before us, marked with the sign of redemption, and lived their lives by faith. That's quoted from Hebrews 12, verse 1. They inspire us by their holy lives, and they also pray for us from their place in your communion of love. And a special place of honor in that communion is St. Joseph. He said yes to your call to be the chaste husband of Mary, the mother of the Lord, the foster father of Jesus, and the guardian of the Redeemer. A man of few words, Joseph spoke with action and calls us to the way of active faith. The patron of all workers also shows us that the dignity of all human work when joined to Jesus. Joseph always said yes to your invitations of grace. He always put Mary and Jesus ahead of himself, and he invites us to do the same in our daily lives. The carpenter who taught the child Jesus to work with the wood in the workshop of Nazareth shows us that all human work participates in the loving plan of redemption. At 33 years old, Jesus, the carpenter's son, freely embraced the wood of the cross and reconciled us to you and to one another for the sake of the world. Joseph loved Jesus, and Jesus loved Joseph, and that love continues on. St. Joseph, you who love Jesus with a genuine fatherly love, we ask you to pray for us as we follow the way of Jesus in our everyday lives. You understand the challenges of raising a family, earning a living, and facing the difficulties of life, and always remaining faithful to God. We now turn to you and ask for your intercession by your prayers. Obtain for us the special graces we need to be faithful to our own specific vocation and live our lives in service to Jesus as you did. And now we will pause for our prayer intention. St. Joseph, today I specifically ask you for... Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Joseph the Worker, pray for us.